Thank you. We are singing now, Bagana, ne? Ha 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 ha. So global citizens, fellow Africans, ladies and gentlemen, I extend a hearty akwaba, a word of welcome from a very hospitable people. To all of you who have come from afar and wide, to our vibrant city of Accra, Ghana's capital, to join us on this great occasion. I thank the Global Citizen Team for holding this fantastic and impactful festival in partnership with the government of Ghana here at the Black Star Square, a place symbolizing national unity, freedom from oppression, and justice for all. A big Aiko also goes to all artists, partners, and sponsors who saw value in this event and lent their support. Hope you'll forgive me if I single out Hugh Evans, Michael Sheldrick, Simon Boss, and Chepo Maloali, who have been so dedicated to this cause of this festival which is being held simultaneously in Central Park, New York, under the leadership of the co-chairs of the eminent group of SDG advocates, Beijing Prime Minister Mia Motley and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, for special mention and praise. With less than eight years, to bring about the transformation we so earnestly desire, our world sadly is not on track to achieve the 17 development goals. Extreme poverty is on the rise, inequality is growing, and our planet is heading towards a dangerous tipping point as a result of climate change. Developments which have been exacerbated by the effects of COVID-19 and the Russian invasion of Ukraine. We have a limited window of opportunity to act decisively to, to lift millions of people out of poverty, promote inclusiveness and equality, and safeguard the health of our planet. Each one of us has a sacred and moral obligation to begin to bequeath to the next generation a healthy planet free from poverty, conflict, discrimination, hunger, and disease. I call on the youth of the world, especially, and in particular the youth of Africa, to play an active role in achieving the SDGs. The world needs your creativity your knowledge, your reach, and your energy to help find innovative solutions to the challenges fa facing our world. Step up on advocacy on the SDGs, and where necessary, stimulate change by raising awareness of the socioeconomic and environmental problems that plague communities and our planets. Global citizens, fellow Africans, I'm delighted to announce, together with my brother and respected colleague from South Africa, President Cyril Matamela Ramaphosa, my co-champion in African prosperity, the launch of the Africa Prosperity Fund, the billion dollar African fund for Africans by Africans.
It will fund strategic and transformational projects on the continent in the areas of infrastructure development, financial access and participation of women and youth, education, healthcare, technology and sustainability so that we leave no one behind in Africa. It will be done within the context of the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement as we immerse ourselves in the recovery and reconstruction of our economies and nations across this great continent of ours. I extend our appreciation to Aspen Pharmacare, the South African multinational pharmaceutical company, the first to commit to this fund. And I invite other corporates and individuals alike to be part of this historical journey towards the creation of African prosperity for the Africa we want. Enjoy your evening. And who is enjoying themselves more? Who's enjoying themselves more? Us here or them in Central Park, New York? Who is enjoying themselves more here in Black Star Square? God bless and may God bless you all. Thank you.